I had already um, art classes, and then we went to um, to an exhibition, a ret retrospective of uh, George Fitzgibbon, and then somehow with his work, I I saw that with animation you can also express different things that I knew before from um, cartoons. I also really like cartoons, but his works showed me a different path that you can go with animation. Films that really triggered me was um, The Exterminating Angel from Winuel. Um, this is a film that I saw a lot of years ago and somehow the story still stayed in my mind, but I forgot that I had seen this movie. And uh, after many years, I watched it again and yeah, somehow it made sense to me. And I wanted to also to uh, somehow depict this kind of society. In Switzerland, even if it's not the, the high society, it's a society with, who has um, a lot of rules. So not uh, written rules, but the ways of behavior. And it's something that you can observe and a little bit make fun of. Some scenes are made uh, with uh, digital cutout. Mm -hmm. For example, the scenes with hands. Um, and at first I wanted to use this technique more than this, so I was trying to, um, to use it also for the dance scenes. But at some point I realized that sometimes it's uh, better to not trying to, to um, win time by searching new techniques. And because I lost more time, I was thinking I, it will be easier to do it th this way. But in the end, it wasn't really possible because um, if it's a perspective from uh, up, down, it's not really possible to do it with a digital cutout. But some are done in this way and others, I, um, I made the rough uh, in TV paint and then I printed them out and uh, then drew, drew it again with ink on paper. In this, I have the two voices, the one of the narrator and the one that uh, is actually all the, all the characters. And they are often contradicting, or let's say the, the narrator is often contradicting what the characters are saying. So in this way, I can make a bit of um, uh, putting in doubt the, the voice of the characters. And yeah, what I was trying to do is that the, the viewers wouldn't really know at last who to believe. Is it the characters that are having their nice party and should they believe them or should they believe more the, the narrator who is um, telling sometimes the opposite? First, I was using a lot of colors, and at one point, I always had uh, like one pen with me, and then I started to to draw more in black and white, and maybe not really in the film, but in illustrations, I like to use patterns a lot. So the patterns, you can treat them also as colors in a way. So one pattern would be if you would translate this image in a in a colored image, maybe one pattern would be blue, one pattern would be red, and things like this. Got more and more free uh, with the time. I would say, in the first year, it was um, quite quite stressful because we learned all the different techniques of animation. So the program was really full um, and not that much of, of free time. In the second year already, we could um, 
choose a lot of, uh, of modules that we wanted to, to visit or not. And then in the third year, we were almost really free to do what we really wanted to do because everyone had to pitch their projects and um, some were doing it alone. So I think then you have the most free freedom and some were doing it in groups, but also the groups they could, uh, I think almost all the groups chose to work together. So then they could also be free and uh, make what they really wanted to do. The one medium that could bring my interests together. So you can, if you want, you can uh, work really in an abstract way, or you can also um, be free to yeah, make things like more in an illustrat illustrative way. And yeah, this is for me what was nice about it.